Hey, you too. So I wanted to make a quick video here on uh, as fall and winter are creeping up and you start figuring out how and when to winterize your boat. Just something to think about this off season. And that is, if you don't have a heat exchanger, you might look into investing in one. Um, basically what this is, is like a car radiator, but for a boat. And it's part of a closed cooling system. So, in this cooling system, you're gonna just use regular um, car antifreeze. I put 50-50 in here. It even has an overflow tank right there. And uh, two types of cooling systems. There's a seawater system and uh, a closed system. And this here, so this boat uses two co uh, separate cooling systems. But this here is closed, meaning that it uses regular antifreeze, and that antifreeze goes through the engine, uh, through the engine block, and not salt water. So mainly these are used, if you're going to be in salt water, you definitely want a closed cooling system. So that's mainly what this is all about, keeping that salt water from entering your engine block and prematurely wearing your engine out or rusting your engine. Yeah. So, I'll get into cleaning it and maintenance here pretty soon on some future videos, but for now, this is just a, just want people to know if you haven't seen one of these, it's just a radiator for a car, but I mean, just a, it's like a radiator for a car, but goes on a boat. It's called a heat exchanger, and it's part of a closed cooling system. Okay, so they sell them all over the internet. If you don't have one on your boat now, you can always add one too, an aftermarket one. And I'll see if I can find the uh, part number for Mark Cruiser. But uh, just something to think about during the off season. Especially if you're going to be in salt water. But uh, anyway, just a quick short video. And thanks for watching.